I am in my garage, because apparently I have a garage now, which is also apparently my own little personal ceramic studio now, which is pretty awesome, pretty cool. Um, my apartment complex, like many Texas apartment complexes, a little bit outside of the city, we a lot of times have an option to rent garages um, just for like better protection of our cars. But also a lot of people like to use their garages for stuff like this. And that is what I am doing. I have a lot of things to say. Uh, firstly, I, I've been doing ceramics at a local studio for a year now. I guess I, like, it's been a few months since I stopped going, but I did it for around a year and I really enjoyed it, but I ran into a lot of issues. That being that it would take me around 30 to 40 minutes to actually get there. And also um, it was $200 a month for three hours a week. So I got to go four times, four times included in that $200. And each time was three hours. So it just, was not super viable for me uh, when it came to like selling ceramic stuff because I had to make it fairly expensive because if you do ceramics, as you know, there's only so much that you can get done within four weeks, um, especially if you're limited to only three hours a week, like you're not able to make a lot of progress. So in turn, I had to make pieces a lot more expensive, which I don't want to do. Um, because, like I said, I had to do that in order to even, like, break even with how much I was spending on the studio. And so instead, I dump half of my savings and, uh, ask my family to help me out a little bit with making this ceramic studio. <laughs> so instead of a year's worth of studio time over there, I spend that all in one session making a personal studio but uh, it's very hot in here because I have to turn off the fans um, so that's that's fun I'm in the Texas heat and there's no AC in a garage obviously so I've been trying to see what kind of solutions I can find to that so if you have suggestions for that please let me know um, unfortunately I can't do a mini split because I can't I don't think I can do like a big hole in the wall I don't know my father-in-law is coming today and he's gonna help me set up most of the stuff in this garage which is gonna be awesome but it's also something that I've been thinking about for a long time since I decided to stop going to the local studio as far as my career goes you know I've been doing this for almost four years now and I think just me personally I've gotten to a point where I have realized I kind of don't want to do what I'm doing all of it like full time. So right now I've been mostly relying on the internet and you know, so when you're an artist that relies solely on the internet, there's a lot of art that you have to be constantly creating in order to like maintain people's attention, uh, make enough to profit off of, stuff like that. And I kind of realized that I don't want to do that anymore. Um, you know, this sort of work life that I've been showing you guys just is simply not fulfilling anymore and for the last year that's something that I have denied realizing and also something that I have been trying to escape and run away from because the idea of change was really scary to me and the idea that I might not be able to be an artist anymore was also scary to me but I've gotten to a place where I'm like that's actually okay and just the realization that I don't want to do exactly what I'm doing at this time for an extended amount of time was really big for me. And so this is just kind of me experimenting. And another thing that I realized is I think I'm able to do this because my patrons, I love my patrons, but also because I have so many people in my life that wholeheartedly support me and I I just I'm so grateful for that and I realize that's such a big privilege like I don't have a ton of people in my life but the people that are in my life support me so so hard and I just I love them I love you guys I love my partner I love my few friends I love my family even though I haven't always had an awesome relationship with them regardless of that when it comes to trying things out and finding what I want to do in life. 
they have always been insanely supportive. But anyway, that's my rant. Um, that's kind of how we got here. And uh, yeah, basically the only thing that I'm gonna have in here is a wheel and like obviously stuff to store pottery and like stuff like that. But it's gonna be super simple. Just if you have suggestions for air to cool this place down, please let me know. I live in Houston, Texas, so I can't use swamp coolers. Um, we are very humid here, but yeah, I'm excited for what this has to bring, and I am going to take you guys along with me, obviously, and uh, I'm excited to show you guys my tips and how exactly I'm going to achieve this. Besties, this is my new bestie.
I've been watching so many videos and stuff where people have Australian accents and now I want an Australian accent, so I've just been I've just been using it lately. But anyways, we are in my ceramic studio that is essentially done. Um, I just came by to like do finishing touches and bring all of the ceramic tools that I had in my home studio here. And I also have this little guy, I just need an extension cord for him. But everything is basically set up. I All I have to do now is uh, insulate my garage door because as you guys probably saw, my partner and I started doing a pretty bad job at that. Um, and it's because like the guy at Lowe's just told us to buy a giant sheet of it and cut it ourselves, which turned out to not really be the best option for us. So I bought pre-cut strips um, that I'll just have to like trim off a little bit, but they're almost like the perfect size. And that's the thing with garage insulation, like when you wanna insulate your door, you have to do um, like exact measurements to get the best energy efficiency possible. But I have been learning a ton about insulation and AC for a garage. And um, luckily we really won't get above 95, 96 degrees Fahrenheit here in Texas anymore for the, for really until probably next April or May. Um, so luckily I'm not dealing with that anymore. I can be in here without like sweating too much. It's still like slightly hot um, and my AC is not very strong, but it's bearable now. So now I'm extra excited to get started in here. But yeah, like I said, I just have to do the insulation and then I will be all good to go to work in here. It ended up being really cozy. It's really nice. I also have like something else coming in the mail that is very exciting but yeah all that's left like I said insulation and I also have to bring my glazes from my home office because the box that I have of those is really heavy so I need my partner to do that for me um but yeah quick little update for you guys and I will see you once insulation is on the garage door and when everything is done and complete Now it's time to give you guys a little tour of my ceramic studio. So, um, firstly, doors are insulated, finally. Kind of messed this up, but you know, we're, we're okay. Um, so yes, insulation, honestly, in any weather that you live in, if you want to set up something in your garage, highly recommend it. It's just more energy efficient, and depending on whatever type of weather you're battling, it's gonna help with that. Next is my AC and I can't make any holes, like big holes in the wall, so I have a portable AC that I just plug in. And uh, yeah, whenever I need it, I lift up my garage door a little bit and I let out the vent. And it does an okay job. I will say if it's above 95, it can't keep up. So we'll get there when we get there, but for now, summer is over. And then I do have a little camera, like just in case, because it is a garage 
and I have some valuables in here so I just like to be able to know that everything is good it's also really handy to be like did I close a garage door or did I leave I don't know a light on or something so very handy and now I have my potter's wheel and I have the stool that my friend gave me but my potter's wheel so far is amazing I've only thrown on it twice because I've been busy with other projects but hopefully this coming week I'll be able to do some more ceramics but um, yes potter's wheel I got the speedball clay boss which long story short I decided on it because it seemed to be everybody's beginner standing wheel so that's why I chose it and so far she has not disappointed I really enjoyed the splash pan here's my ugly extension cord that I need to hang up and do some cable management for um, if you're gonna do this be sure to use a very and then we got a lamp because as you can see the one bulb is not enough for this whole place but that's okay I have this and I'm probably gonna have to add another one maybe but yeah this one's from Ikea and it actually lights up a lot better than I thought it would and then I have a ladder here because if I ever need to mess with the plug or something or if I have stuff up here whatever and then I do have some cardboard boxes just for transportation because I do not have a kiln here for many reasons. One, I don't have the electrical outlet for it. Two, I don't have the ventilation for it. Three, I don't have the money for it. So I'm going to be using a kiln service for bisque and glaze firing my pieces. And then we have my lovely, lovely corner fan, which is very helpful. I also have a box fan, but I only use this if it's like really hot. Um, and then we have our shelves. These shelves are from Ikea. They're the same ones that I have in my office. And yeah, they're amazing. I like to opt for this wood, especially for ceramics, so that the clay doesn't suction to it. Yes, I just have some very rough organization and my little mini Ikea furniture set that's going to have some ceramics in it soon. And then we have my clear glaze dipping bucket area so i'm just gonna dip her in here and set them up right here to dry i have a mirror look at me with my gopro on my head uh, but yes i have a mirror because my friend gave it to me and i thought it would liven up the space a little bit and then here's my plumbing system i have a bucket for scraps like clay that ends up being wasted quote unquote wasted because of the throwing system so I put it all in there and I have to make sure that it's all covered in water but essentially that's clay that's going to get recycled and used over and over again and then I have my clean water bucket so these are five gallon buckets and yeah I don't have plumbing in here as you guys can see so this is kind of like my plumbing system and very quick rundown of like disposing of stuff so you're going to want to put scraps in one bucket and then for dirty clay water just dump it in the grass or down like a street sewer and it'll be just fine. Do not dump it down any drains in your home because it will ruin your plumbing. Here's my little table, my little table guy. So Ikea pegboard of course, holder of many tools and then I have my clay, I have plain and then some clay with grog in it, scale so I can keep track of how much clay exactly I'm using for pieces. Same material wooden table from Ikea, again, so clay won't stick when I'm wedging. I haven't hung these up, but these are hooks to hang up my aprons and my bag. I have this very cheap little organizer from Ikea. It's just like this random metal organizer, but yeah, I just have like extra stuff in here that I don't want to be just like sprawled out on my shelf. Trash can, of course. Don't forget that because I did forget that at a, certain, at a certain point. And then I have this little beanbag guy because A, to liven up the space, B, my partner was like, I need something to chill on if I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with you over there. So here it is, he's from Amazon. And that's essentially my garage. I wanted to break it down really quickly for you guys just so you could see like kinda what you need. I will say the one thing that I forgot one thing that I forgot is rags. I have not bought any like, or like honestly found any whatever rags to just have in here to dry my hands and stuff. So I need rags, but that's honestly the last thing. And here's my cutie little, cutie little studio, very minimal. And this is my space. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this was helpful. If you wanna make 
any variety of home ceramic studio. If you have questions, please let me know because I am more than happy to answer them. This was definitely a very big project for me. This took me a long time to film. There were tears, there was sweat, maybe a little bit of blood. But yeah, this was very difficult, but very rewarding and I'm so happy that I did it. So yeah, I can't wait to have like studio vlogs in here, working, showing you guys. But yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. So before closing out today's video, I wanted to talk about the sponsor, which is Squarespace. Squarespace has been a very long time supporter of this channel, so thank you to them. And if you don't know what Squarespace is, it's an all-in-one platform where you can create your very own website. And it is where I have always run my website and my online art business. If you yourself want to run an art business, Squarespace is a great option. They have a really easy to use design interface and it's super customizable for your brand's colors and such. If you sell in person at markets like I do, you can connect your square reader to the Squarespace app to keep track of your customer data, inventory, etc. And of course, the commerce tool is really awesome. That is where you can actually run your business and it keeps track of your inventory, your orders, email list, stuff like that. So if you're interested in Squarespace, you can go to squarespace.com and use my code for 10% off your first purchase.